All right, so let's do a quick uh, hip mobility assessment, right? One quick and dirty thing you can do is just how quickly and how easy can you go down to a deep squat in any given moment. All right, but let's say you were trying to find out, well, what are the components about my hip that's not letting me do that very easily? So I have a couple that I want you to think about. One is how well does your hip move into hip flexion? But I want to see how well your muscles allow you to do that too, not just how well the joint lets you do that. So this is what I'm going to suggest. Hand against the wall for balance, so that I want you to think about the balance component. We're going to look at this left leg. Is how well can you bring that knee up towards your chest while this other knee is staying straight? And I want you to see how well can you actively bring this thigh. Can this thigh or the quadricep touch your stomach? Now, I also want to make sure that your spine stays straight. Try not to do this. That's not the same, all right? So trying to keep that spine upright, the only thing that's moving is this thigh bone and that knee up towards your chest. And can that quad touch your belly right through there, all right? If I do this the other side. So that's what my active hip range of motion here is. I like the knee to be straight because as this leg comes up, Right? You're gonna have other tissues being restricted here. You can get a lot more motion through your uh, hip. If I bend my knee, I can get a little bit more. But if I had that straight, that locks things out. And I just want you to take out all the variables and just move one hip, one joint, right? With this one, this instance is the hip. Two other things I wanna think about. So I'm gonna lie down here. Other leg stays straight. If I hit 90 degrees of the hip, here, I wanna see how much external and internal rotation you have. So from here, I want to see how much, you can use your hands for this one. As long as this thigh is up and down, how close can you get to 90 degrees? Well, not at 90 necessarily, but maybe around 70 to 80. Then the other assessment is here, is how far can you go up this way, right? 45 degrees would be optimal, right? But some people are there, barely anything, right? So I need both of those hip uh, rotation and range of motions to be close as you can to 90, close again to 45 degrees at the side if you want to do a deep squat without restrictions.